curses and blessing. So, when we curse, we are speaking ill of. We are speaking not well. And so we feel not well. And then we say, okay, I hope this guy will not feel well. So that's the mechanism. And that's when, that, that's why after you feel remorse, because your um, the amount of energy, of vitality that you have may diminish if you start to do this because you're um, cutting yourself in little pieces, kind of, and projecting yourself all, all over the place and negating the beauty that is. So then you end up more tired, and so the curse comes back in your face, kind of. So it's it's a sad. It's a sad thing, but it's actually a good thing because it's your power coming back. So you who, and it feels awful. All right, because you label it awful. Right. So a blessing. So most people, apparently, I think at least, uh, don't know what blessings are. So oh, I bless you. you know, what are you talking about? A blessing is to speak well. Benediction, bene, to speak. And oh no, well, and diction to speak. <coughs> so, to speak well. When you speak well of somebody, of something, of yourself, then you are giving blessings. So, when you say, have a good day, you are blessing them actually. You say, um, you're beautiful. You say, and so it, it has to be like without any string attached though. So if you're like, you beautiful, mm, I hope that she's going to go in my bed. Well, so you're throwing something, you're like giving them, and you're hoping that it's kind of like a net and that you have a string still attached and you're going to be able to pull it and yank it. And the person is going to be like, oh my goodness, we're able to be beautiful. I need to be with that person. And you're like, ah, I cut her. And then you're like, but... That's just a game. She was already desperately looking outside of herself to find fulfillment for herself, and you just showed up, and you did the casting, <laughs> and she had already, you know, she was like, okay, whoever says I'm beautiful, I'm going to fall in their arms. So it's not like you did something major. Uh, but it's, it's not so good. Um... It's, it's manipulation. Um, well, everybody's doing their best. So, anyway. Uh, how much can you bless? Alright? So, if you like believe in vibration and stuff, you can actually compliment thing, uh, things and people all around you, and you'll feel better. Um, so some people say, uh, well, but if I say, hey, have a good day, and the person like turns around and says, well, fuck you, um, you feel hurt, and uh, maybe rightly so, why not? Uh, so I would recommend that before you say, hey, have a good day, that you say, hey, have a good day to myself first, so that you're already fulfilled, so have a good day, Aurelian, you know, you're totally going to have a good day, and... Or you could do the Kyle case thing of projecting the future into the past, so that it would look like, hey, um, let's see, I had the best day. Oh, yesterday, no, tomorrow I had the, it's a little tricky at the beginning. Yes, t no, tomorrow I had the best day of my life. And so it's harder for the brain to control that and like be like, yeah, well, no. Uh, and so apparently what happens is that you subconscious, who apparently is infinite, it's, it's really big, uh, can actually uh, acknowledge that it already happened. It's already in the past. So then you're like, oh, all right, I'm having a good day. And then when you give a big day, it's not out of lack. Like, I'm hoping that the person is going to treat me the way that I treat them. And if they don't, then... Uh, see, that, that doesn't work. It's just 
they're going to treat you however they're going to. Maybe they're a block of ice, you know, and you just chipped at it, you know. And maybe they're a block of ice and you, like, just threw some fire at them. They're like, what the heck, you know, you're, like, going to burn me. No, no, you're a block of ice, dude. Like, <laughs> you really need to melt a little bit, you know. So, of course, you could, uh, you could, you could get all kind of reaction, all right. Uh, so, you know. You're just gonna feel, you know, like the person enters, and honestly, you know, <laughs> kind of like if you pick up the phone, you know how your mom is feeling with the first hello. Like, oh yeah, that's one of those days. All right, that's is how I should behave. Uh, you know, like you have that sense now. You, you you've you know you've grown up, right? <laughs> You're not totally lost. So, oh my goodness. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, apparently the cur cursing would be like, you know, calling somebody a dog. It's obvious that it's not a dog. And so that's, imagine like a dog is one vibration and a person is like another ripple. Okay, and now you have interference because they're not the same, and the person is feeling the interference and it's like, uh, not really. Okay, unless he has done some work on himself and he sees himself, you know, as a person, as a dog, as a bird, as the wind, and he's like, oh, well, thanks for letting me know. But yet, I mean, you do feel that the person is like angry, and so like that's why the, the Native Americans they were like. Why are the whites calling us dogs and being so angry about it? That is so weird. They could not understand our insult. They were like, oh yeah, okay, I'm a dog, and so what? What's the big deal? A dog is as honorable as a cat? I mean, one didn't say that because I'm not sure they had cats. So anyway. So, but, you know... So it, it's really the, the use and the, so it reveals actually when you insult somebody with something that you negatively believe that that thing is bad. You're throwing your bad belief onto other people. Say, hey, I have this, this cake that I think really tastes like shit and I'm going to make you eat some. I'll see how you like it. Because <coughs> we're nice and sharing beings. We really like to share. And so we, we share our um, disgusting food, you know. So there's there's many ways of sharing. This is one that is uh, can be detrimental, or you could be like, hey, as a confession, you're like, you know, uh, I made a cake and it really tastes like shit. I don't like it at all. You, you, you know about it? And the person's like, yeah, I don't need to tell. I don't need to taste it because I. I already made that, that error and I already made that cake that tastes like shit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like, oh, we're not alone. That's right, you're not alone. You're not the first one to have made that shit cake and that's all right. You know, you'll make a better one. Or maybe it was excellent composed, you know, that sh shit is like awesome for the worms and it's awesome for the plant. So there you go, you made the best compost in your whole life, and now you have a trademark, you're selling compost, you know, and you have a, an organic farm growing. So you who? Who knew, right? Uh, so you can you can turn things into good things. Uh, chillax, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that, that's about all. So yeah, be, be aware of what you're saying. Your, your, your words are, are sacred. Meaning they cannot be altered. Ever. You cannot take one word out. It's done. If you did something, it is done. Forever. <laughs> so, yeah. And fighting. Oh, he should not have said that. Waste of your time. You're viewing an alternate universe, and you're calling it the past, the future, the present. And so what? What is it doing to you? Making you happier? More resentful? 
So, good. You know where you want to go, where you want to be, and now you need to start where you are. And if you look where you are, you discover something really cool. <laughs>